Hello and welcome to Below Average Gaming. I am the Below Average Gamer and thank you so much for coming and watching. I appreciate that. You gotta do a lot of effort. You gotta sit down. And that's pretty much it. So you actually didn't put a lot of effort at all, but that's fine. That is, you know what, that's that's perfectly fine. Um, yeah, I just bought this mansion. So wanted to show you guys. I have a couple different things to do today. But yeah, this is my new mansion. Super pumped. But my intention is to uh, continue the decorations already here, but continue to decorate it. And uh, that's why I bought it from, is Wolf Death Foundation. Um, I'm going to furnish it a little bit, get it all set, and then sell it is my uh, idea. So, yeah. That just happened. Um, it looks awesome. <laughs> the way it has icon. Um, how's, how's my city? Pretty much a failed city. But I may come back to it. Yeah, so this is cool. I'm really excited because I love this design. I don't know what it is. I just love sandstone buildings. I've recently gotten into the um, business of finding buildings like this, refurbishing them, and selling them again, which is fun. I mean, it's great. Free money, right? Oh my gosh, I have the sniffles something fierce. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. <clears throat> that was a good business room. I'm a, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm so sorry. I have, like, the sniffles. I got a little bit of a cough. I'm trying to not be dead, but it might just not work. Ooh. Got a trespasser. Got two trespassers. No. Oh, sick. I didn't know you can get those from fighters. That's awesome. I have two now. Cooly, cooly, cooly. But this is a little house that's on a little private island, so I'm really pumped about that. Oh, my boats are gone. Oh, well. But yeah, so this is really cool. I love that there's property here too. And I love these fences. Woo! Fancy. And they got these lights that illuminate them. This whole place is illuminated. That's pretty darn sick, if I do say so myself. Um, yeah, I mean, I love just getting on here and being like, look how rich I am. Well, I'm not rich anymore. I spend like all my money on these properties that I'm going to be selling. So pretty much, here's the first one, is pretty much what I'm saying. Here's the first one here. Um,. Yeah, this will be sold later. It's really nice. I actually kind of want to keep this for myself. But I really would much rather have the money. So this fanciness is here, which I'm going to resell later. <laughs> yeah. Suicide. But about that. <clears throat> My other business is I'm going around and uh, I'm buying these places. There's this rule in Hello Miners that is, um, I forgot to say I'm in the Hello Miners server. Um, play.hellominers.com. Ha. Um, but yeah, there's this rule in the Hello Miners server of like, if you're gone for a certain amount of time in regards to the space that you're in, um, and the size and shape and whatnot, then you, it can be sold if you're not on. Like, for example, if I'm gone for a year, I could lose an entire city. <clears throat> Which is exactly what happened to this player that I bought this from. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I am dying. Uh, remember me as I was. That's all I have to say. But zombie pig man. Look at that. I need this gold. Oh sick, he actually gave me a gold sword. That's really good. Now to get the heck out of here. What about this location here? Um this one that I'm going to right now. Um so I'm really excited because I can make a lot of money here. It was a city that was never actually like official. But the player's been gone for a year and a half, which meant that I could purchase the entirety of this city, which I've always wanted. Like, as soon as it was built, I was like, man, I want that city. So here's my other mansion, I guess. There's that first I bought. Here's the secondary one, which I can sell, refurbish and sell. And then each of these plots. So I own this entire thing. And I could probably also sell that as a mansion, too. It's more of an office building, but I can sell that as well or do whatever I want with it. Plus, there's undeveloped land over here that I'm working on. I'm really pumped about like all this land over here is all oh my gosh I fell there's no way back on oh there it is is uh all of this I can redo so I've been showing you guys recently how to make money in the server um with villagers and whatnot but this is another way that's been really good for me is finding either unclaimed land that's really valuable or buying land from players who are gone so th this player like I said has been gone for long enough that I was actually able to buy this entire already pretty much done city scape um, for land price, which is really cheap, which is usually about, uh, 
Well, this I, if I were buying this, if I were buying this city laid out like this, I would it'd probably be about seventy five thousand or so since it's laid out. There's some buildings here that I can sell, like this building here. Um, this mansion I can probably sell for like twenty thousand. This one here I can probably sell for like twenty five or thirty thousand. But um, yeah, so this whole thing would probably be uh, the math there about like eighty thousand. But I bought it for I think like forty thousand, which is awesome because now I can sell. I did the math on each of these plots and I can make back fifty thousand easy. Um, <clears throat> at 15 up a block. And I just kind of spruce it up a little bit, get it looking a little bit nicer, and it'll be good. So this is my other spot. Um, buh, 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 buh. I also found this little beauty here, if I ever want to teleport at any time. Please. There we go. There's <coughs> some lag there. <coughs> oh my gosh! Is this water? Oh, good. Just stale water. <coughs> I got this place. Which I found. Um, I can show you the outside of this because you are never going to find it. I literally walked three days through the nether to find the spot. Player had been offline for about six months or a year, I think, as well, and I bought it. Now you're looking at this being like, what's so great about it? It's a storage system, awesome, there's a bunch of chests, pumpkins, whatever. Well, um, awesome thing, this is like the coolest thing I've ever seen. I've never seen anything else like this. But if I go down here, getting ready for a fight. Oh, none down here. I'm withering. Any keys? No. Um, that's three spawners, or two spawners. I'm sorry. Two spawners, one like right beside the other. So pretty much, I fixed this thing up to um, make it so that when the skeletons fall, they have one health left. A half heart of health left. So it's one hit pretty much every time. Sometimes there's weird stuff that happens. Those skeletons you need two hits or whatever. You didn't lose any health just by glitch. But yeah, I have this and I'm going to sell it because I really, really just love money. Um, so I'm really pumped about that. I don't know how much I'm going to sell that for. But I have both those properties that I'm super, super duper pumped about. And I have that other mansion that I'm going to sell along with Icon City, which uh, I will maybe sell someday have my farm here. Oh, and I have um, this guy. The big guns. This mansion um, here, which, go to the front. you've seen this one a thousand times in my videos. But um, this one, the idea is to sell it, make a bunch of money, get it furbished and everything like that. Huge mansion. This is the biggest mansion I've ever seen on the server. Um, if you have a bigger one, let me know or put it in the comments below. But uh, for the Hello Miner server, obviously, if you're making one in creative, you can make it as big as you want. But this is the biggest one that I've seen on the server. Uh, this one is massive. It's just empty. And I've been taking some efforts to kind of furbish it up a little bit, but it's massive. It's on like two chunks because it's so big. Um, it's got a giant back porch too. Like this, and then it actually extends all the way to that cleared space there. But yeah, I'm going to sell this guy. I bought this, I think, for 30k, which it's worth. 300k, I would say. Dr. Seuss. Ryman. But yeah. It's also got some crazy history because it belonged to Impersonator, a player who was banned a long time ago for like crazy stuff going on. Who's this? Are you a player? Okay, good. See, so Impersonator's not giving me permission to ride the horse. There's the proof in the paint. Can I access the. Yeah, okay, I can't access the thing. But yeah. So this thing's really cool. Really awesome. I'm still working on it. You can see like there's dirt trails up there for me climbing the roof. <clears throat> but yeah, it's pretty much like the outside is pretty much done. There's a couple little dings and windows missing, but other than that, it's finished. So I'm going to sell that and make some serious moolah, hopefully someday. Uh, the thing is, you just never want to have something, and this one's a huge risk on that, is something that players aren't willing to pay. Like a lot of players aren't willing to pay 200, 300k for a mansion. Well, I'm willing to pay 30k for it, super easy, which means I can sell it for anything above that and make a profit. I can sell this thing for 35k if I wanted. I'm not gonna, because that is insane to do. But uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm really pumped about that. So I have those three properties to sell. Um, oh, including Icon, which is a furbished city. That's four properties to sell. So a lot of people don't think about that as a really good way to make money in the server 
But finding property that you can buy for super cheap and then finding a way to sell it for more, like this whole idea of going and finding property that you're able to buy, um, that you're able to buy from um, people being inactive, is awesome. So like stuff like that needs to be fixed. But um, yeah, really awesome, really cool, because you can make serious money off of nothing. You're basically selling land, like buying land and then immediately selling it is what you're doing. Because um, when you buy the property from someone for being inactive, you buy it for the lowest selling land price, which is 5F, which is awesome. As you can see, it's still loading. Like, I can't get it in both just because I have my settings really low so I can record. But yeah, so there's another little thing there. It's also got this whole underneath down here, which you can furbish into whatever you want. You can do extra work, bring rooms down, get things to be a little bit lower, stuff like that. And then this huge lower section here. My goodness, what? Yeah. That's pretty crazy. But all those I'm going to be selling soon. So I'm really pumped about that. But now, let's get ready for the event. Because I have two keys. I'm hoping... Ooh, the sun's going down, so this may take a second. I'm going to try to get a third key tonight on the server here as the sun goes down. And then we're going to go to the Halloween event and see what I can get. Hopefully I'll get something rare. I haven't seen hardly anyone get anything crazy rare. Um... Just tricks. It's most. I think it's all tricks. One treat. Because no, I saw someone get 250F, which is awesome, but not great. Like it's it's okay. It's a good. It's free money. Free money is always good. But at the same time, it's like, dude, there were so much other cool things in there that like I don't know. So I'm hoping. Last time I did it, I got uh, five buckets of lava, and the time before I got attacked by zombies. So we will see. Anything exciting happens there. Meanwhile, I'm just chilling in my villager farm. You guys saw this last time in other videos. This is kind of my headquarters, my warehouse, my home base. Oh, I need to sleep in my bed because right now my bed's up there. And I'd rather it not be. Sick. Come on, get down with the sickness. Come on, come on, get down with the sickness. I wonder if my neighbors can hear me. Because they must think that I am just insane. They're like, pretty sure that guy lives by himself because my wife's at work all the time. And I'm not. Um, <laughs> my, my work is... Well, one of my jobs is an actual job. I actually go to a building, I come back later. And then my other job is also a job. But it's like a few hours a week in an office and the rest of the hours at home. So I'm actually doing my job right now. I'm at home. They're paying me to not be near them. That's what's happening. Uh, no, I just... I, I don't know. I find ways to do stuff. I get really lucky with stuff like that. And I take advantage of it way too often. Is uh, Pretty much I'm given a list of stuff and it says, I don't care how it happens, just make sure that all these things get done within the week. So, cool. Awesome. Those things get done every week. Oh, drinking this water is just making me feel better. Oh, shoot. Is there someone... Oh, there's a pumpkin here. Oh, there is. Oh my gosh. Here I go. Come on, get down with the sickness. <clears throat> Give me a key. Give me a key. Key? One, two. Oh gosh. No. Oh wait, I didn't know spiders could give you keys. That was the biggest, like, surprise so far. I don't think... Was it a spider or was it a creeper? They gave me a key. I think it was a spider. Ah, oh, yes. The spider. Uh, let's see. I always feel... There's always mobs out here. Unless there's an event. If there's an event going on for killing mobs, no mobs spawn. But it's fine. I have two, so I'm really happy. Um, I just really want a third. <laughs> I'd be very happy with a third. I mean, I don't need it, but I'd be very happy. I don't know the mob spawning algorithm. Pretty much what everyone was saying was, oh, everyone go to um, this warp because we'll get a ton of mobs to spawn if there's a ton of people there. And I was like, yeah, but if there's a ton of people there, we're all fighting for it. So it doesn't really matter. <coughs> uh, yeah. But here is kind of like my secret little spot, which you're getting to see. Which is fine because you can come visit me. Hey, I have a little mailbox so you can drop off some letters to me if you feel outside my thing. Am I dying? Oh my gosh. What if I sit up straight? Because I'm not sitting up straight is the problem. 
I know once I go inside my farm. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna suicide. Maybe when I come back to life, there'll be a ton out there. Because that's kind of what happened last time, right? I hit suicide and then when I came back to life, there were a billion, uh, there were, there's a mob spawned. Is that anything? Is that anything over there? Hello? Hello? Anyone out there? Anyone out there who wants to kill me? Come on, come on, get down with the sickness. Come on, come on, get down with the sickness. The worst thing ever, and it's kind of something that I'm hoping happens, was I would get glitched on here, and there would be, like, a ton of zombies, like, 30 zombies just coming through this wall for no reason. Like, they just spawn in here. And I kind of want that to happen. Because every time it happens, all my villagers are safe. I just freak out for a sec. And I'm like, if that happened, just right now, dream come true. <laughs> so. Any over here? Because this is all unprotected too, so they could actually spawn here. Which is what I was doing, because I have that giant maze over there. I don't know if you see it. Let me see. No. 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 Oh, there it is. I have this giant maze. And um, you can't see it's not fully loaded all the way. But um, inside it's completely dark. There's a little bit of light in there. But it's mostly dark. So um, during the day, mobs will spawn in there. And I was actually just going through there and just wiping out mobs. Which was awesome. Come on, guys. I'm going to wait for... Oh my gosh, I fell. I'm going to wait for this entire night. And then after, I'm going to go to the thing. Because I, I know that once I leave... A thousand are going to spawn here. <laughs> That's the airport security thing. Pretty cool. Pretty nifty. Hmm. Oh, what's this? Oh, there we go. Sorry, I was yawning. I'm pretty sure this is like unicorn slag. Spark wild. Go. And we'll see. Maybe I'll be able to buy this. That'll be pretty cool. I don't have any iron farms, so it'll be nice to have one. If. Maybe if. If only, if only the woodpecker sighs, the bark on the tree were as tall as the skies. Wolf weights below, hungry and lonely, smiles to the moon. If only, if only. Shout out to Holes. Shout out to Shia LaBeouf. Give me a key. You filthy monsters. Mobsters. There we go. I got slime balls. That's pretty great. Happy about that. Not really, but I can pretend. Prepare for death! Oh no, your children. They're angry, they want to avenge their father. Such good kids. Still two. I'm so close. I can taste it. I got both of those by accident. So. I think that's it. I think we're pretty much tapped out. I don't think that there's any zombies around or near here. Oh, sick. I have a story to tell you guys. Well, wait. Um, I just got a... Oh, man. Thank you. Um, yeah, so my car broke down, and I called a mechanic. I didn't call a mechanic. Well, I, did, I called a mechanic and said, hey, I'm going to be bringing my car in, in about an hour. And they were like, okay, cool. So I got a tow truck, and the tow truck was like, the tow truck goes, uh, guy goes, hey, um, where's this place at that I'm taking it? And I said, it's over here. And they said, oh, okay, cool. Um, I don't know where that is. And I said, no, they said, no, there's no, there's nothing over there. 
And I said, yeah, there is. I go there all the time whenever my car breaks down because my car is a piece of car. Someone just coughed outside. Um, and he was like, well, okay, well, I'll take it, whatever. And I was like, all right, cool. So that's taken care of. Um, seven hours later, middle of my day, I call the mechanic place and I say, hey, I have a car that was dropped off earlier. And they go, oh, you're the uh, so-and-so car, right? The little red one? I said, yeah, that's me. They said, okay, yeah. Um, that car never made it to our shop. And I was like, excuse me? And they were like, yeah. Um, you called and told us it was going to come in, and then it never came in. So, yeah, we're still waiting on that. And I'm like, it's been seven hours. In there. <laughs> so I'm calling the tow truck place. I'm like, hey, you know, we never got that. And they're like, oh, well, they signed the paperwork saying that the job was finished. And I was like, yeah, well, it's not, because the car's not here. Or it's not there at the place. I, don't, I wasn't physically there. It's not there. And the, the mechanic people were like on the phone with me and they're like, yeah, you know, we, we didn't get it dropped off. We couldn't, you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, 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 you know what? Oh, it's actually, I see it. It's just parked around the corner. Yeah, sorry about that. We found it. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> Stop. I'm going to try to respond. And we're all good. I'm going to get a text in 30 seconds. Less than 30 seconds. So, yeah, there's that. Oh, let me read some mail. Because it's daytime now. We're going to go to the thing. But I got some mail from Artenage. And it says Hi, I'm Artenage. I saw some videos that you've made about Hello Miner server. I like them very much, and I am surprised that a person wanted to make videos about this server. I want you continue like that, and if you want, you can read this book in a video. Also, I hope one day we meet. Important. If something in this book is wrong, it's because I'm from Mexico, and I think this is a surprise that you know that a person follows you from Mexico. Regards from Artenage, Artenaje, or whatever it is. But yeah, thank you, Artenaje, or Art Artenage. I appreciate your mail. If you want to drop off some mail to me for me to read in a video, super easy. Here's my stern mailbox. Here's the coordinates for that, negative 611782. And um, yeah, go ahead and check that out. You can come and drop off some mail. I will read it if it's not like crazy vulgar or just really mean. I'll read it on an episode. So if you want to be featured in an episode, have your name read, said, have a message for me, just drop it off right in there. Super easy. It gets put in my mailbox. And I'm always really excited to get that mail. Um, I'll have to kill myself again. Suicide. Okay, cool. And now we're going to go to the event. Warp the event. And we can go ahead and uh, turn in these pumpkins. Bum Ba wa Oops, someone's oh no not someone's right here. Let's go. Ooh, it burns. Ooh, it hurts. Okay. Let's see what I get. Let's see what I get. Fingers crossed, guys. Ten rotten flesh. Sick. I can add that to the collection. Good news is, I get to go again. Ha ha ha. I swear, if I get 10 more Rotten Flesh, this will be the best day of my life. We got turned into a bat. Awesome. Bwee. Looks like... Oh, I'm dying. Oh, good lord. I guess I'm not flying. I'm just kind of roaming around on the ground. Please, please. I don't want to be on fire anymore. Oh, there's water here. Eat some Rotten Flesh. What just happened? Excuse me? Where did my um angelic nightbane go? I'm really upset. What's going on here? Um, excuse me, sir or madam? I'll have to review this later because I'm kind of upset. Where did my thing go? I tried to eat. Oh, weird! I guess whatever I'm on, I can't like I can't use any weapons. Oh, weird! That's crazy. <clears throat> oh, 
Well, I guess this is my life as a bat now. I'm gonna actually go into um that. Oh, I'm like <coughs> excuse me. I'm like invisible with a little bat following me. Ah, I see. That's pretty cool. That's fancy. That's why I was burning. Because I was like, oh, weird. I guess that's a good idea because I think if I was a bat, I'd be able to fly. So this is really good because now I can't fly. Which would be like cheating. Right? I also can't use any items or anything. So Awesome. Cool. I wonder how long I'm a bat for. If I die, am I still a bat? No. Okay. So it pretty much just made me invisible and into a bat. That was pretty fun. Yeah, I'm hideous. Okay, cool. Well, there's that. Um, you saw what another way to make money, which is buying that property and selling it. Also saw um. I'm just making sure I didn't miss anything in chat. Um, somebody turned into a bat. Somebody get some flesh. Uh, get some trick or treats. I don't know if those were tricks or treats because I love rotten flesh. Um, jokes on you. Haha. -ha. Um, and you learned about my car that uh <laughs> was misplaced for a day and a half. But thank you for watching. Thank you for checking out the video. If you saw something on here, if you think, hey, that's a good way to make money, I'm going to do that. Or you're like, oh, that's a cool um, uh, trick-or-treat game. I'm really excited to play that. I really want to get some keys so I can play that game. Then go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Like the video. And you can also subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. You know, of me, like, not doing anything. I told someone today, they're like, are you going to make another video? And I was like, probably not. There's nothing really to talk about like that stopped me before and then I immediately started recording so thank you for watching thank you for checking out the channel I appreciate you coming and just being a part of what's going on here and you're the best bye